Hi all. Today we'll discuss how to take a focused clinical history in patients with dyspnea, both acute and chronic. Careful questioning helps distinguish between cardiac, respiratory and other systemic causes. When evaluating acute dyspnea, always begin by asking about the duration of onset, whether it develops suddenly, over hours or progressively. Sudden onset suggests acute conditions like pulmonary embolism, pneumothorax or acute heart failure, whereas gradual worsening may indicate infection or chronic disease exacerbation. Next, inquire about any background history of exertional dyspnea or the patient's usual exercise tolerance, which helps identify underlying chronic heart or lung disease. Ask about associated symptoms, including chest pain, palpitations or syncope, which can indicate a cardiac cause such as myocardial infarction or arrhythmia. Also, check for respiratory symptoms like cough, sputum, wheeze or hemoptysis, which point toward pulmonary causes such as infection, asthma or pulmonary embolism. In patients with chronic dyspnea, explore how the symptoms relate to exertion. Determine the degree of limitation, for example, whether the patient can climb stairs, walk on level ground or perform daily activities without breathlessness. Ask how the symptoms affect everyday life, as this provides a practical assessment of functional impairment. Also, Assess the effect of posture. Breathlessness that worsens when lying flat, known as orthopnea, suggests left heart failure, while paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea indicates fluid redistribution during sleep. Document any nocturnal episodes of breathlessness or the need for multiple pillows at night. Finally, inquire about associated features such as ankle swelling, cough, sputum, or wheeze which help differentiate between cardiac and respiratory causes. For example, ankle edema supports a cardiac origin, while productive cough or wheeze suggests lung pathology. In summary, a structured history focusing on onset, exertional relationship, posture and associated symptoms is crucial for identifying the cause of dyspnea and guiding further examination and investigations. Thank you.